It's a UFC featherweight division fight. Kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds. Fighting out of Cape Town, South Africa, Chico. And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, give me the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5-2. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just misses there with the left. Big kick lands. Oh, big knee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hand punch to the clinch. And they are exchanging leather early. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. 
He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Yet again, they will clinch here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just over three minutes to go. Nice kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. It's such a fast leg kick. Great punch. Establish that jab. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh man, this is one thing you you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast. Sometimes you don't see it coming. Oh, beautiful knee to body by him there again. We talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. What a punch. Wow, huge head kick. Guys landing with conviction now. That strike blocked by Lee. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, and he lands another. attempt just misses. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. And he landed the right hand there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Big kick lands. Right on the button. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Round right. two straight ahead. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs. And in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Strike to the body, really starting. Right there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Boom! Big jab. Nice 
Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Way to hide that leg kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Right hook to the head blocked. Big head kick lands. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice punch by Lee. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Tags him with a flush left. Punches blocked. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, nice move to the bottom. Just what he needed there. Just over three minutes to go. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Beautiful strike. They continue to exchange. Blocks the shot. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, 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 oh. This fight's going to be over. This. What a great day of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent started going low. But now he's got to hurt very badly. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice punch lands over the top. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Just out of range with that strike. Going orthodox now. Just missed with the left there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook, and putting it exactly where he needed to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Back and forth we go. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Straight right is there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Straight punch lands. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
Third round underway. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Punch coming. It's blocked. Superman punch. right now. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Blocks the shot. Oh! Big leg kick land. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Out of range with that kick attempt. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just missing on the uppercut there. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh! Strike hands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Back to the feet! I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Man, what a fight. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. He's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Beautiful kick. another punch there and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent right at the cut of the eye just making sure he knows that i'm going to be targeting him keep your hands up and when the hands go up he will then change the target down low trying to find finishes nice punch lands nice one two there Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Lands the right hand. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Punch over the top. Twenty seconds left. Now connects with the right. Unable to land with that punch. Big head kick lands. 
All right, single collar tie now. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knocking. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 25 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.